Hey guys, welcome back to Marcus Family Videos. Today I am in the basement. Why? Because my art studio is in the basement. Is in the basement, and as you can see, it's really messy. But I cleared out some space to do to start this um series. So you know how we have series like Boy and Busters, Ryan's Dunk Progress. Um, or you could say Road to Dunkin. And now I'm starting my own. And it is an art channel. Like art tutorials, art tips, slime, stuff like that. So today we're going to be making um, this really cute flower. Um, and it's really super easy. Um, all you need is paper, scissors, and paint. So um, I actually don't have scissors right now. But that's because I already cut a circle up. So, basically, you're going to take any circle you want. So, um, I use this. Put it, I, actually, no, I use the top. I put it on my paper. Um, I put it on my paper. I traced around it with a pencil, and then I cut it out the best I can. If you don't have something to trace a circle with, it's fine, um, you can just cut out a circle the best you can. Um, so yeah, um, pause the video here if you need to go cut out your circle. Also, you could use like a cup or something. This is orange because this is something that me and my brother made. We made our own cups. I made this one and he made this one. And they're super cute, super easy. Maybe I'll do a tutorial one day on how to do that. Yeah. So. This is also about the same size. Okay. Pause here while you go cut out your circle. I'm going to go cut out another circle to have for later. Okay. So, now I have two cut out circles. I'm only going to be using this one. And I would recommend using this side with the non-pencil lens. So, you see how that has pencil lens? I'm going to be using that this side. So... Sorry, I have allergies, and I was outside for, like, almost the whole day. So, first, you're going to need yellow paint. Well, not first, but... So, you're going to need, um, yellow for later. I'll just leave this right here so that you can see, just so you remember. Um, so, this flower, I use, like, blue and white. Because, as you can see, my blue is super dark. Um, I think I want to do, like, pink. Maybe like a light pink or purple. Should I do this one or this one? I know this looks like, oh, there. Before it looked like red, like from back here it looks like red, but it's really pink. Um, I think I'm going to use this mixed with white. Even I want to use this, but like, because I, you know, I'm going to use this because I'm lazy. So you really don't need a lot. Um going to put this aside now. You're just going to need like, I'm just putting it on a palette because um, that's the only thing I have around, but you can use a, a paper towel or a napkin or whatever. So that's really, this is really all I'm getting. It's really not that much and I probably took too much anyways. So um, basically what you're going to do is, well, you don't have to, but you what I'm what I sometimes do is I make like a middle point, or you could just es guesstimate, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So basically, what you want to do is you want to you could just rub your hand around it, or you could do it my way, where you take a paintbrush. Sorry, my paintbrush. Is, this one is really hard, but that's okay. Um, and then you just put it on your finger. I would put it on your finger that you write with, so you're dominant finger, dominant hand, um, pointer, and you really want to put it, um, to, like, if you see that much, like, if you want, you put it a little bit lower than this line, and it varies for some people, but, like, you just try and, like, put it like that, and you just stamp it on, and it's supposed to be messy anyway, so it's not, like, supposed to be, like, the most beautiful flower ever. So I'll see you when I'm done with some more petals. Dang it, my brush just went on it. Okay. 
Okay, so I already, I finished with that part, and this is how it looks. Sorry. Um, I kind of messed up on one of them, but you can't really tell. Um, and I already did the next step, which is to wash off your hands, because this does get messy. And also, put paper towels down, or do this on a designated art table. This is my art studio, and guest bedroom, but, um, mostly my art studio, um, so I already have, like, an art table, so. Next, we're going to get some yellow, and this is where you, um... This is, like, this one, you can mix it with white. Oh, sorry. You can mix it with white or not. Like, this one, I mixed it with white. But this one, since I'm lazy, again, I'm not going to mix it with white. And, yes, that was way too much again. I'm not good at getting, like, you really only need to drop. You're only doing, like, a little middle part. Put some on your finger. Not a lot. You want to really rub it in because you don't want a lot at all. And you just want to put, like, the point of your finger on it to make a circle. You don't really want anything else. So then, yeah, that's what mine looks like. Next up, wash your hands off. Okay, done washing them off. Um, and then, yeah, you're done. You just want to let it dry. So, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, got some paint on my hand. That's okay. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, this is what my old one looks like. You can tell the difference in the yellows. And yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, um, before this dries, I'm going to go wash it off, and then I'll do my outro, so yeah. Okay, I'm finally done, and I'm so drying my hands off. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like. You want to smash it, but... Don't break your device. Um, subscribe, smash the like button, but don't break your device. And share this video and watch our other videos. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and um, before I go, if you want, if you guys didn't think I actually cut out another circle, boom in your face. Okay, bye. Wait, no, that's not how I end. Peace out.